Yeah. You can now see you me. Can, now you can see the jack. What about now? No more. Okay. Can you see the car? We got new wheels and tires. Mainly because the city kept sending me citations. Or warnings of citations. Sucks for you. I got two letters in the mail saying that my tires were flat. One of the letters came after I switched the tires from one side to the other to where it didn't look flat. They were aware of my tricks. The lady caught me outside in the garage one day and said something to me. Yeah, I don't know what to do. And she was like, well, just let me know. So I'm gonna send her a picture of these to her email. So these we got off of Facebook Marketplace. Got a super steel on them. They've got some Michelin rubbers with about 85% advertised tread. And I think that's legit. <sighs> but they don't fit the car apparently. What's wrong? That's too big for that. Shit. <laughs> mm, not even like a push on kind of situation. Shit. Fuck. Yeah, that is a pretty large difference. Shit. Who would have guessed that that would be the case? I'm sure a lot of people. Maybe people even watching this video. I hate how I don't ever measure anything before I buy wheels. So, I've seen people do this with a hole saw. So, we would have to get a hole saw bit that's this size that fits in here, and then one that fits in here. Just this diameter pretty much is what we need. I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world to do, but it'll be all right. It'll work. All right. That's what we gotta do then. Shit. Okay, now that we got that clip in, this is what we're working with. This fucking dumpster behind those two trash cans. Um, I've got to make this hole as big as this hole. Um, I don't have the professional tools to do this. So, this is what I got. I got one that is the size of the smaller hole for guide. And then I got the one the size of the bigger hole for cut. And then I bought that thing. Looking at it now, I don't believe I'm going to be able to shove it in that hole. So I've got an old bimetal one right here. I think it's bimetal. Two and a half wear goggles. I don't know. Might be bimetal. Who knows? Um, I'm going to try just to shove it in there because this already does a well enough guide holding it. Giving a light even pressure here. Wow. We've cut a pretty good amount into that. This is gonna go on for a long time, I bet. Oh, I wonder if cutting oil would benefit me here. I don't have any of that. But what I do have. I don't know what exactly cutting oil does, but you know. Oh yeah, this battery's almost dead. Wow, there's the line right there. That's how far I've gone in. I can't believe I've already made it an inch. I can barely feel it. How long does it take for Makita batteries to charge? I should have charged my batteries. Hmm. Pretty close to the end here, and at the same time, I'm also pretty sure that I'm drilling this crooked. Oh, yeah. ah! Oh, I hope it fits. I hope it fits. Oh, that's 
pretty fucking close. Well, I guess every video is just uh, a couple of snakes in the trail along from becoming a two week ordeal. That's what we've got here. We've got some wheels that just won't bore out. So here we have a tool. It's not made for doing this. Today, we're gonna fucking do this with it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Well, we can just accept that this was the test run and everything that came out of it was gonna be a little rough. I, I don't know if this is on right or not. So, that's creating a problem. But, Jesus fucking Christ, we'll deal with it for now. Look at that. It's like somebody else's glove. Wow. Kind of looks tough, honestly. I like how much it tucks in the back now. Now that there's two more inches of wheel. All right. I had two more fucking assholes to do. Because of how long this is and how wide it is, I'm actually gonna have to take the wheel back further because right now it only goes on to there. I did this one like I did the back. I just lipped it. So. We're gonna have to go further. I'm gonna do the same method that I did on the other side, drill through the front with a hole saw. This one turned out way better than the other side. Well, that took an unnecessary amount of work, but I'll be gone darn. That's all the metal that came off. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this. Probably put it in the kids' Easter baskets next year, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna spray this thing down a little bit. First, I gotta suck up all these leaves. Ugh. Man, I am so excited to have these wheels on here. Um, one, we're definitely not gonna get a ticket from the city about it. Two, they just look good. Like, I don't know why they look as good as they do. It makes it look uh, a little more like a hot rod, I guess. This thing's not gonna be driving a whole lot right now anyways. Um, I've still gotta fix the rust in the driver's seat area, build some seat mounts. I've already got the NRGs sitting in here right now. You see, the NRGs are sitting in there, but obviously they're not mounted down or anything. So as soon as we get those seats mounted in there, we'll uh, fiddle with the exhaust a little bit, make it a little quieter, throw a battery in, we'll be able to cruise this around a lot more comfortably and a little bit safer. Because you know, that's the main priority, safety. Appreciate you guys watching the video and supporting the channel. Um, if you haven't already, go check out the merch store, definitelynotmechanics.com. Pick yourself up some merch. That'll help us put some more money into this because you guys actually paid for these wheels. And it's really weird to think about that.
that the channel's finally making enough money to be able to pay for some of the mods that are going on the vehicles. So that is tight. Also, stay tuned for more of this content. I got something that I'm really excited about. Whoop! Little sneaky peeky. But be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell us what you want to see. What you want us to do to the Mercedes. We might cut the back off. I think I finally have Zach convinced that it would be cool. We'll see what the future holds. Until next time, fuck off!